So it's the opening weekend, a good start for the league yesterday, Greg, and just good feelings about uh, this game and these players in it today. Today's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, we have some familiar names as well, and especially with local ties. You saw it there in the beginning. Here are the New York Guardians. Their head coach is a guy the Giants fans very familiar with. Yeah, and again, another name you recognize if you're an NFL fan is the quarterback, Mr. McGloin. Matt McGloin played for the Raiders, and he got some time, got some success in the league. Mark Tressman, he has been around this game for a long, long time. Most probably remember him as the former head coach of the Chicago Bears. And their quarterback's a guy you probably know if you're a football fan as well. Again, a local kid, Aaron Murray. College fast, up tempo experience, and you're kind of seeing that play out in this first drive. Third down, McGloin going near side, and it's caught. And it'll be a first and goal. Because it's going to come up a lot. Bring on EJ Bibbs as a fullback guardian surging forward. It's a touchdown. Davion Smith back in and running back on a first and goal on the fake. Murray in some trouble. It's going to float it to the corner of the end zone. It is not the way. It is intercepted, is it? It is. It's picked off by New York. Uh, play before was so great. Then he comes back and he gives it to him. He said he went back as far back as watching Steve Young footage of Mark Tressman early in his career with the 49ers. Ball is popped loose. It's on the ground. Guardians say they have it. Didn't look to me like he caught it, Kev. I, I, I'd be interested to see that again. It, it was it was, it was a bang, bang bang play for sure. When he landed on the ground, he only had one foot down. The ball was jarred loose, so it's going to be an incomplete pass. 25-yard line. Should be second and 15, correct? Second and 15. All right. Okay. McGloin and Murray both one of their last six throwing the football. Throw it again. Four-man rush, some pressure, steps away, going deep. He's got a man, McKay. He's got it diving inside the 15. There's your guy, Greg Olson. What a beauty of a play. And the bomb goes for 45. And a first and 10 from the 12. Blitz coming. McGloin sees it, floats it, got a man. And it's a touchdown. Colby Pearson for six. Great job by McGloin here. His experience, his leadership, his ability to see things. All played off there. Oh, nothing. You know, just getting hit for the first time in a while, so we'll be good to go for us again. No, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jenny, thanks, and it's true, right? I mean, the, these teams haven't hit anybody, and they've been screaming. Even, even the practice game was just a thud rule. Couple penalties fly on this incompletion here. The defensive end who jumped, I didn't see what number it was. I think he then ended up punching him. Yeah, Mount jumped. I think they called it, they called that, and then I think he punched the offensive lineman under the chin. I think it's going to be on both on the defense. We'll sort that out here. <laughs> All right, so the Guardians 17, the Vipers 3. Vipers football, obviously, work to do. 12.09 to play in the game. It's Murray on the fake. Pressure in his face, and he completes it. Truesdell fumbled the football. It's picked up by New York with room to run. Summers working his way to the end zone. Hit near the goal line is he in. Touchdown. Great job there by Hines, the linebacker, to punch that out from behind. Well, I agree with you. Now let's see if he actually got in. That ball touched the goal line. Ruling on the field was touchdown. It's hard to see. After further review, the ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. You see 81 here. He's got one-on-one -on -one coverage at the bottom of the screen. I'd give him a chance, but. Fourth and goal. Nope. Flowers in trouble. Pressure coming. Flowers, down he goes. Just another really poorly executed red zone possession by this Vipers offense. I'm sure this felt good getting back in this stadium, in this city, and, and showing the people in New York and their fan base that he's a great coach. It's pretty cool that he was last year at the NFL in this stadium, and now he's back in this stadium, and he's got a victory in his first game as a head coach. It's 23 to 3. The Guardians take care of the Vipers here this afternoon. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.